Gentlemen, welcome back to the Waste Sewing Room. This, my friends, is a NICAD battery from a time when Milwaukee used to make good tools. This was the last awesome drill I owned. It was the Milwaukee 14.4, and she was a skookum chooter. Still is. Unfortunately, the NICAD battery is done shit to bed. And as you can see, these bad man pajamas have been ridden hard and put away wet. Ooh, crusty. Pretty much the only thing we want out of here is this little guy right here. It looks like we can fit seven 18650 cells, which is an oddball number because we could get 24 plus, we could get 26 volts. So the thing, yeah, the thing would go into a lower earth orbit but wouldn't have any torque. Or we could gang up two in series paralleled three times and that would give us no these i salvaged out of the hilti hammer drill and they are mean bastards no doubt and i did how to charge these and how to recover them lithium ion batteries in a previous video it's down in the doobly doo suffice it to say if i'm doing it it ain't rocket surgery jesus christ I don't know what the hell happened there. I pulled the tab off and it, she let the schmoo out. Boo! Miscalculation. Not gonna fit. Back to plan B. We're doing three gangs of two and I've checked and these are all good batteries for recovery. One and a half volts. It was like zero volts or might be a problem. Like this guy here. There we go. And then these guys have already had a go at. I know they work, so we'll gang them up and then charge them. And we got these in sear in parallel, so in pairs, paralleled, and then this will be the negative. It'll go over through the positive to the negative of the other battery through the battery, jumps over to the negative, and we'll have positive here, positive, negative. This will be 12 volts nominal 13 volts something like that and we double them up in parallel to get the current out of them if we parallel them if you parallel a battery you get twice the current if you series it you get twice the voltage now luckily i had the foreskin to mark this so that i know the polarity of this now we can solder this in You can see here it went from constant current to constant voltage, so we're maxed out at 4.2 volts and now 900 uh, milliamp, 960 milliamps and dropping. Oh, well, we are getting close as you can see, it's in constant voltage and each battery in the cell, the ganged up ones drawn 75 milliamps, something like that. We're on that first two gang, that first two twin, we'll move it over to the second one, charge it up. And then after uh, we use it, we'll just charge it up through all gangs. So it won't be 4.2 volts, it'll be three times 4.2 volts. I'll show you. Now we gotta switch these around because now this side is the negative on the middle bank. And then positive. And that bank, yeah, that bank is just about fully charged. I will just run through that bank and then the next one Battery's all charged up as you can plainly see. 12.66 volts. And these are bad mamma jamma, so standard protocol applies. Learn from my mistakes. You do not want to handcuff burn around your dingus. Don't judge me, we've all done it. And despite all odds, I managed to maintain the cromulicity of the casement. Now the hard part looking through the Empire of Dirt to find the old drill. Now oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's see, that one. Oh, that one hasn't been audited for a while. That one, yeah. Clearly contains solenoids. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd guess that one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ha-ha! Da-da-da! Crazy like a... Be old! Focus, you flux. There we go. The last good Milwaukee drill, in my opinion, that Milwaukee made. This was when Alice Krapko had uh, bought the company 
and I think it was just after, shortly thereafter, ITT or TII, whatever it's called, bought it and started changing the designs. But this is still the old design, Skookumer as Frig. So Skookum, in fact, that I got two. Unfortunately, they discontinued the batteries. Sons of bleaches. It's like they're only in it for the money. And we'll put a nice big glob of silicone carny on there. Make it a gab to better the jab. That's good. <laughs> there was a young harlot of Montague who filled her vajayjay with glue. She said with a grin, if they pay to get in, they'll pay to get out of it too. Just a couple of caveats, which is a fancy way of saying traps for young flamers. This is a totally different battery chemistry, so it takes a different charging topology. That is, the charger, the old charger, you can't use anymore. What you got to do is use the power supply and then 4.2 4 volts times 3, so 12.6. Uh, 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 volts and uh, current limited and then go to voltage limited the same way we did before and charge it up that way and also there's no way like NICAD you can run right down and it's no problem lithium ion uh, that kills those batteries so you got to be cognizant that you don't want to totally run this down anymore you're going to want to charge it before it totally runs down also, safety-wise, there's no protection in here for over temp or if there's a thermal runaway or whatever. So, And burning down Mama's Hacienda would, at least temporarily, I'm assuming, put you on Mama's naughty list. Alright, here's mud in your eye. Nice. A little bit slower, because the voltage is lower, of course. But let's see if it's got any torque. Chuck's seen better days. Well, that's hard as a coffin nail. That's not going to work. That's a clear-cut case of the battery sucking ass. Son of a diddly. I guess you do get what you pay for. Now, if this were a, somebody else's YouTube video, of course, it would work out perfectly. Uh, that doesn't happen in real life. You know, I paid nothing for the batteries, and I think the lesson here is... Uh, you know, it's got plenty of torque, though. So as far as proof of concept, I'm happy with that. Just need better batteries. Son of a diddly. Okay, there's the proof 12.2. So it's dropped down to 4.1 volts per cell. Not great, but I had a brainwave. It's great for secondary operations. I'm gonna keep this drill around with this battery just for chamfering. Instead of changing the bit, you know, I got a sentimental attachment to this drill. Me and this drill did a lot of work together, so I'd like to keep it around. Well, if the slaughterhouse gives you nothing but floor scrapings, you gotta make yourself some hot dogs. Long tongue and bum, baby. Mm -mm. Spanks for watching. Keep your bit in a brace.